Welcome to the virtual honky tonk where nothing works. Well, some things work. Hope you're doing all right. everybody hello welcome mom hi hi everybody over at extend the care um mom doreen uh deborah people over at hospice peterborough hi boy it's been a kind of a kooky week i'll fill you in as we go but uh let's just play some music and see what happens i'm playing my old uh, rockabilly guitar and uh, well let's let's just have some fun If that's okay.
well, I just felt I needed to get a little of that. Uh, I had to clear the air. I had to get that one out of there. So, hello, welcome to May. This is our first little get-together in May. Uh, the grass is growing, buds are in the trees, birds are singing, and what's going on with people? That didn't rhyme, I guess, but that's my thoughts on it. It's, it's a little bit crazy out there right now. So you're safe, bundled up wherever you are, stay low, lay low, wash your hands, watch your back, and um, we'll get through this. So in the meantime, thanks for uh, joining me as we get to, well, see see what today has in store for us. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send this one out to my mom because, uh, well, just because it's May. This is for my mom. Early Mother's Day. Okay, which brings me to an interesting point here, because uh, I want to talk about that very song. Here we go, there. This is, uh, well, kiddies, back in the day, this is what we used to send out to the radio stations, was one of these. It used to be wrapped in a cover like this. And what I would do is I would print 500, 1,000 of these flat things. And then I would sit down on my evenings in my apartment in, on Davisville Avenue in Toronto. And I would take a glue stick and I, put, 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 and I would stick them together. And then when the glue was dry, I'd pop that in there. And then with that would go one of these. And this right there. 
this. As you can see, this is a stack of um, reply cards. And what they were, all postage paid and all proper. And what would happen was, while I was on the road, I left a little envelope of, uh, I don't know, 20 bucks in change and stuff in my apartment building uh, mailbox. And the postal carrier would just take out whatever, every time I'd get one, one of these, it would have to take out, I don't know, 40 cents or something. Uh, but anyway, I've got, that is for dance for me. This is the stack of them that I have. And uh, later we'll get to this one. Where's that woman? There's a stack of those. And my first release, which is this one, take a chance. And that's this one here, and that's a stack of those. Back then, I did, I, I had this, I stamped each one. Did all this stuff by hand. I look at it now, it's like, holy cow. Now you just push a couple of buttons, and you, your computer can do all this stuff. Uh, you don't even need any of this. But this is what it was back in the day. This is the back. That's the front. That photo was taken on the back of my apartment, uh, like I say, in 33 Davisville, uh, uh, Davisville Avenue. And that overlooks uh, the cemetery there. Yeah, it's very, uh, very scenic. And uh, there's the back. So we had a good, a good group of people. This was recorded in... Um, Where's that woman? And Dance for Me. Both of these were recorded in Northumberland 29 studio. So let's, <clears throat> just for fun, I think I saw one of them, but I'll just pull out. Uh, yeah. there, there are some kind of crippling, <laughs> uh, you know, not, not horribly crippling, but uh, there are some bad days, I guess. Just happened to get a in the wrong day. Oh, excellent production, song, vocals, keep up the good work. And that was Paul Miller at CFSL in Weyburn. Isn't that nice? Thank you. But like I say, this is uh, back in 1986. God, Paul Kennedy was was kind. The, one of the first one I put out he didn't like. But uh, I won him over. It was funny because it was like a, it was a hard pass, and uh, but anyway, that is that was what we used to do back in the day. So I'm gonna play that other one, that other song that we just had a look at, and uh, that's yeah. I usually sort of end with it, but I think we'll do it a little early today. There, this is it. This is for uh, where's that one? I should, oh, I should just. This is it. This is the sleeve for the 45 of this song.
walk on by They don't know the way I feel If I got someone At least that's the way it seems Where's that one? So there is Where's That Woman? And the stack of, uh, well, the reply cards that I did get back. I mean, I sent out way more than that, probably sent out that many, and you get, you do get some back. And oh, let's just pull up. Sorry, it's too, oh, too late. I just found it. What? Oh, for the uh, chart. Oh, well, that's okay. There's always next week. Um, and something, nothing at all. Good record. Sounds great on the air. Oh, Paul Kennedy. There's our old friend Paul Kennedy again. From Halifax. CHFX. Halifax. Anyway, so that is what you lived on for these things. You know, you weren't, uh, you weren't making any money. At least I certainly wasn't. Um, from a number one record in New Zealand. Um and everything else in Canada from all my royalties, international mechanicals, $126 total from the biggest song I ever had. And that was an international, tiny little blip. But, uh, but that was it. That was, that was my, uh, I think I bought a sweater with the check. I thought, you know, I'm gonna go down to, you know, hey, we're, this is just the, this is just the first one, <laughs> didn't I? Little did I know. Anyway, uh, more music. Let's have some more music, shall we? This is for Mary.
Okay, well, we can't let our guard down. We've got to keep uh, our guard up. And we got a mask up. Going out in public ain't the same it used to be. There's this nasty virus gunning for you and me. One thing in our favor, the one thing I would ask. You're not fully dressed until you're putting on your mask. Don't worry about the styling, be it sexy, cute, or bad. A minor inconvenience or a lifetime for the sad. When you're dressing to impress, you now have one more task. You're not looking sharp until you're putting on your mask. Putting on your mask ain't a simple left and right. It maybe shows the world that you found your precious life. As you go out there, remember what we ask. Well, it keeps putting on your mask. We're not talking half arms, chin hammocks, or kerchiefs. Saving lives stands taller than political beliefs. <laughs> One day when we through all this glory, we will mask. Until then, you're not dressed until you're putting on your mask. Until then, we're not safe until you're putting on your mask. Okay, well, there it is. got to put on our masks. I'm by myself here, and uh, even if I were not, there's way more than six feet here. So, I'm in the clear. Are you? fun for me. Okay. Oh man, you know, it's a, boy, oh boy. It has been kind of a, cra a crazy week. I'll just tell you about it briefly. I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to dwell. But people are losing their minds, shall we say. 
they're kind of just sort of going into Marsha Brady tantrums over the smallest thing. Well, how long is this going to take? Well, you put in your um, order five minutes ago. Well, how long is it going to be? Well, it could take 24 hours. Well, i got to be somewhere. <laughs> it's like, man. And screaming. Uh, yeah, four people yelled. Well, screaming. It doesn't matter. But, yeah, there's, they're not handling it well. Yeah, this Whatever it is. I don't know. Uh, just try to sort of keep low-key, play a little music when I can. Uh, try to keep myself amused where possible. And kind of, well, that involves some music and... Uh, I'll tell you, <clears throat> finding a bunch of old photos and stuff, so I've been doing that, and I, I see I have a couple of books now. I'm going to have to be doing some more scanning. But as I find these things, and I just, you know, kind of share them and show them with you, because who knows, after this, uh, I guess I'm going to be packing them up, and wherever they go from here, who knows. But anyway, I'm just sort of going through and finding things and keeping some, and I'm just sort of going to... <laughs> assign the rest of it to the dust of history, I guess. Uh, so anyway, that is what's been going on. It's been a crazy couple of days, if not week or two. I don't know. Was, uh, you can't blame it on the full moon. It's, uh, it's easy to do. Just blame it on the full moon. But anyway... Here's, here's what I think about the whole thing. Marching in the streets People wearing sheets We've seen this all before Make a sound 
Okay, well. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Um, I I want to tell you some little, a little tale. I'm going to tell you a tale about, uh, well, let's see. My father, I guess we'll say. I want to, going through some books, as I have mentioned, I've been going through some stuff. And <laughs> haven't we all, right? But I want to show you, this is my father here. This was in 1945. And hope I can get this to focus. Hold it still. God, come on, this thing. Uh, there we go. That's a little about as, about as good as I can get it. Anyway, there's my dad. And this is his. This is the Canadian Army when he was there in 1945. And that's in Wilhelmshaven, Germany, 1945. And I learned a great deal about it over the last little while. How um, it was heavily bombed and before my dad got there. And that's why I, all of these, well, I've got books down here. I've got, uh, I'll show you. I got these. And they're, oof loaded with these right and they're all from the war they're all my dad's and uh, I'm just going through them one at a time and uh, just for posterity I'm just a little digitizing them rather than having them just go rotting and you know they got to be somewhere so um, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna be digitizing them keep a copy and then uh, I will donate them to something uh, some cause that's going to actually hold on to them somewhere down the road. Um, but anyway, this is down. We will uh, talk about that down the road. But eventually they will end up in the hands of some archivist who will hopefully uh, uh, look after them, as I have. So, um, where was I going with all this? Oh, yes. Um, Check out, there's a couple of, I think, breathtaking shots as I was just sort of going through them. I thought maybe I could share a couple with you. Uh, look at that. That's from a ship. So my dad took that leaning over the side of a ship, leaving Canada to go fight the war. And you can see that string of soldiers behind him. And we just cannot imagine. I cannot imagine. And I'm closer to this whole thing than a lot of people. Uh, but there he is, having his, having his canteen there. So these guys, that was his, uh, that was his life in 1945. And it's funny, I have a whole uh, a string of these shots taken within like a, a few minutes. They're all standing next to the same vehicle. They're all wearing the same clothes. It's just so interesting to me, fascinating stuff. So, and I, uh, you know, I, I love chasing down these little, uh, these little mysteries, like where are they? And finding out, you know, starting to put little pieces together. So, having said all that, I would like to finally uh, send this song out to my dad. I wrote it about my next door neighbor, but you know what? It's uh, it's about my dad too. This is it. You'll never see.
Keep the party rolling, shall we? Try 
scary beautiful Scary beautiful Oh boy, I think I'm, I'm a little, huh? Tunely challenged? No, maybe not. Maybe that. Oh, a little bit. Not much. Okay. Oh, this little peavy is doing all right for itself. These are overlooked, actually. You know what? These are really nice guitars. I've had a couple over the years. We're gonna get some really nice sounds. In the hands of a genius. Like I say, in the hands of a genius. All right, well, let's carry on then. Ooh. Just ain't no use To get me started There's just one thing to do I take the filter out And grind the beans about Until that smell is floating Rich in the air I pour the water in As soon as butter in It won't be long Until I'm human again You would not believe The coffee dust in me It's a miracle cure I'm a slave to my coffee I'm a slave to my coffee It goes right to my head And brings it back I'm a slave to my coffee I'm a slave to my coffee When I get to my job That coffee's wearing off I need another one A coffee to go Before I start computing Why my computer's boot I hit the lunchroom For a cappuccino Don't want no Irish cream That's not enough caffeine I need a special blend Colombian dark I take it black and hot It really hits the spot It gives me palpitations Deep in my heart Maybe one of the reasons why I'm sitting so low, I just realized that, uh, why can't this chair go up anymore? Is it down? Well, it'll not go up any further. No, it's down. It's, it, it is done. It is done. This chair has got a, well, it's got a, it's got a slight lean to it. So one of these days, when these stores open up, like uh, Ryu Center or one of those places, I'll 
get a new one of these, or well, I'll swap it for something better. Anyway, yeah. Certainly more important things to worry about right now than one set upon. I think we have to play one for my good friends over at uh, Angels of Flight. This is for them. Wherever I go, I know you're there. Whatever I do, I know you'll care. I've got a halo. Wherever I roam I've got a halo Wherever I go One thing I know Wherever I roam If I need my home I've got a halo Whenever I call In the day or night if things go wrong, you'll make them right. I've got a halo. If things go wrong. I've got a halo. If I'm in need, if I'm in pain, I know you'll come chase away. Got a halo. And that is for the Angels of Flight Canada. Uh, boy, they're uh, they do a lot of good work, so you want to check them out. Okay, so I guess we're down to about the short, uh, well, the short straws here at the end of the show. I'm gonna say Happy Mother's Day a little early. There is a package working its way to you, my dear mother. I just want you to let you know I the message has been received. I know what you're looking for and. Uh, we talked to the guy, and uh, a deal was made in the alleyway, and so, uh, if you know what I mean, everything is, is working as it should. It's just a de delivery process. As soon as that gets here, I will get it to you. And uh, so, let's finish with, uh, well, you know, this is becoming a, the usual... All right, no more looking back. Take one. The usual song. So, let's finish with this.
thanks for hanging out and spending some time here. Appreciate it. Look after yourself. Look after each other. Wash your hands. Watch your back. And uh, boy, we'll hope to see you real soon. Happy Mother's Day in advance or whenever it, you get this message. And until then, I hope to see you real soon. Bye for now.